Well, hello again, and welcome to our reading of Theocritus, Idle 2. We're just reading through the text and translating as we go. And we were up to a uh, line which will become line 33. The line numbers don't follow exactly because the in the original manuscripts the lines, the text seem to be out of order and I'm following Gao's order here. So, nun thuso ta pitora tu de artemi kai ton in aida kineses adaman ta kai e ti per asveles alo, and it breaks off at that point. So now I will sacrifice, perhaps I will burn, ta pitora, these are the corn husks, uh, but you, artemi, O Artemis, and then uh, she says, um, we've got kinesis here, which is a potential optative from kineo without an. Uh, so you would be able to to move. You you would move. Uh, ton adamanta. Not quite clear what this means. Possibly the adamantine gates. In Hades, in Hades, and literally, if um, they are understood, there might be any other sec very secure thing. So she's going to say, um, Artemis, you have you have such power that you could move even the adamantine gates in Hades, and so you can therefore move him to come back to me. But she never finishes the sentence because she breaks off. Uh, yelling at Thestylus. Uh, uh, Thestylus, tie for high, the dogs, um, Oruon tie, this is from Oruomai to, uh, to Howl, they are howling, Amin for us, Anaptolin, up and down the city, Hathios en Triodoisi, Tokalkeon Hostakos Ache. Uh, the goddess, now this will be the goddess Hecate, is understand in, so instead is in the literally the place where three roads meet. So you might say the crossroads. Hecate was um, a god of the crossroads, place where three roads meet, and there were often little statues of Hecate at such points. Uh, now Ake is from Akeo. Um, it's, so this is the imperative here, it's a ke o like our word echo, so it's sound, host tacos, as quickly as possible, tokalkion, this is the, a sort of bronze gong, which was used to keep away evil spirits, uh, much like church bells were used in the Middle Ages and um, in some churches still. At the height of the Eucharist, the bell is rung to chase away any evil demons that might be there. That was the origin of the practice, I think. And it goes back a long way here, so as quickly as possible, sound the bronze gong to give them protection. Again, our little uh, little refrain here, Eung's helka to turn on emon poti dorma ton andra. Enidi sige men pontos sigonti de a ain idi is idiomatic, but it's quite common in um, fifth, fifth century Greek. It just means behold or see, look. So see, Pontos, the, the sea, uh, has gone silent, is silent. Uh, we get a nice men and a de, and the aetai, the blasts of wind. Sigonti are silent. Um, so, ha dema u sige sternon entos then ania. So, in, com in comparison with that, the, the sea has gone silent, the blasts of wind are silent, but um, the uh, Emma Ania, my pain, my misery, entos then sternon in my breath, within my breast, usige, is not silent. 
al epiteno pasa kataithamai hos me telainan antigunaikos ethe kakan kai apathenon. Amen. Very powerful couple of lines here. But I am burning. I am completely burning um, for this man. So I'm completely on fire with uh, with desire for this man. Man who, and our main verb is ethake, literally who placed me um, to line up possibly goes with Kakan. Um, uh, wretched and Kakan, well, perhaps dishonored, disgraced, it's just a general word meaning in a bad way. Uh, so, ha so it has placed uh, poor me, wretched me, as dishonored or disgraced, antigunaikos, uh, instead of being a wife, he has made me thus. So perhaps take that first. So who, instead of taking me as his wife, he has made wretched me dishonored, and amen is for ani, and to be a parthenon, having lost, uh, and not a maiden, having lost my maidenhood. Iyong's helka to turn on emon potidoma tonandra. And now again we get these comparisons with hors, hors, cause for kai hors and hors. So it's just as thus, just as thus. You'll notice get a different accent on the second one. So we're getting this hose hose construction here. So it's just as I, taco for taco, as I melt this wax, sun daimony with the help of the goddess, thus may Delphus hop Mindios, the Mindian. Now, Mindos is in Caria, it's almost opposite Kos, but the the there is an, the name is known in Kos from the archaeological evidence, and was probably be in, was probably intended to be the setting of the poem. And moreover, we're going to get a reference to Philinos later, and Philinos was a famous Cohen athlete. So I think this is meant to pin it down for us that this the action's going on in Kos itself. So um, just to repeat that bit again, so just as I melt this wax with the help of the goddess, thus may Delphus the Mindian Autica immediately, may he be melted, hoop uh, erotos. Uh, by love. And just as, so the kos for kai hos here, and just as ho, orombos ho kalkios. Now the orombos, we get our word rhombus of course from this, it's um, it's a, it's like a bull roarer. It's a, an object in the shape of a modern rhombus that attached to a piece of string. This one's made of bronze and you spin it around at high speed and it makes a buzzing noise, a whirring noise. And that also is meant to have um, magical effects on the person you're directing it at. So just as this bronze rhombus, this uh, bronze bull roarer, ex Aphroditas, under the influence of Aphrodite, denate uh, is whirled around Thus, may, uh, so we get a noctative here, thus may this man, Tainos for Echanos, of course, thus may this man, that is Delphus, whirl to literally our doors, so to my door. Poth for pot for pros. Another refrain, the same one again, Eung's helka to ten on emon potidorma tonandra. Es tris apospendo kai tris tadi potnia fono. I will pour a libation, um, es tris 
well three times it's literally up to up to thrice so I will pour a libation three times and three times phone I will say these things O lady and we get ate and ate so whether a woman lies beside from paraclino this is the perfect so it's literally whether a woman has lie has lain beside that man beside him or a man so whether he's he's sleeping with a woman or a man um, may he have equi optative of wish here we get toss on and hoss on may he have such a degree lathas is genitive i think here from lathe may he have such a degree of forgetfulness as once they say theseus Last they men. This is a, an an in, infinitive um, from Lam from Lanthano in the dialect form. So um, may he have such forgetfulness as they say Theseus did once uh, forgot, um, and it's taking a genitive forgot um, beautiful tressed Ariadne in Dia. Now, Dia was um, an island. Uh, in one tradition, Ariadne was killed by the goddess on the island of Dia. Dia is taken by many others as referring to Naxos, another name for, for Naxos. Uh, so, she's, she is saying here that um, even if whether there's a, a, a woman is reclining beside him or whether it's a man may he have such forgetfulness as once they say theseus forgot their dressed ariadne in dia and another refrain eons helka to turn on him on potidorma tonandra um esti there is a hippomanes futon a horse maddening plant par arcasin among the Arcadians. Um, toi depi parsai kai poloi minontai anhoria kai thoi hippoi. Uh, now the epi you can see with the accents referring back to the toe. So um, um, under the influence of which, that's the epi toe, Passai polo, poloi, all the foals and the swift horses, minontai, go crazy, un oria, on the mountains or on the hills. Dialect form of oros, mountain here. Hers, thus also, idoimi, optative of wish, may I see Delphus, and... Um, it's also, may I see uh, him understood, uh, Hikolos, like to a madman, may I see him to cross into this house, to cross the threshold, from Peira pay, pay, uh, here, to cross the threshold into this house, um, Ectosthi, from the Liparas, uh, palaestras from well it's the oily perhaps sweaty wrestling school so again we get these comparisons so there is this horse maddening plant that drives the horses crazy and she says in the same way may i see delphi also having crossed into to cross into this house like to a madman um, out from the um, sweaty wrestling school and another refrain Eung's helka to turn on emon potty doma ton andra now magic also often involves having some little piece or possession of the person that you want to have effect on and that's what the next little bit is she says um, Delphus Olesse, he lost tut to kras, uh, kraspedon. 
presbyton is a fringe of something. So um, uh, Delphus um, lost or perhaps left behind or lost this fringe from his kleiner, from his cloak. Uh, Hogo for hot ego, which I now, till Tiloisa for Tilusa, that's just the um, participle here. Uh, Tilo is to pluck, so it's pulling to pieces. The kata probably goes with the bellow, I think here, it's Timesis, which I will cast down into this wild fire. Aye, aye, this is a, a cry of woe, Eros aniare, most painful love, most painful eros. Uh, tip, why? Now the the ek goes with the pepokas. This is the perfect from pino, and the ek to drink completely, to drain, I suppose. The subject, uh, well, we, we've got hose with so like. So why do you drain to the dregs? the hyma, the, the melan hyma, the black blood from my skin, hapan completely, like an emphus, a, an emphus bedella. Now bedella is a leech, like a leech, clinging leech, to go with the emphus, like a clinging leech, limnatis, living in the marshes. Another refrain, Eung's Helka to turn on him on Potidorma Tonandra. Sauron toy tripsas a kakon poton aurion oiso. So tomorrow, oiso, future from Pharaoh, I will bring or I will carry um, an kakon poton, an evil draught, an evil drink. Um, now, tripsasa is from tribo. Here it's something like grinding up. Um, so, grinding up this um, sara is a lizard. So, having ground up this lizard indeed, tomorrow I will bring um, uh, an kakon poton, an evil drink. Thestalus. Now, Laboisa, participle again from feminine participle. Now, having you having taken Tartharona, these are the flowers and herbs used in the potions. You having taken these perhaps magic flowers, these Tauta, these ones, Hooper Maxon, Tas Teno Flias, Kath Huperteron, Has Eti Kainux. So now, having you having taken these magic flowers, these magic herbs, Hooper Maxon, uh, Hooper Masso is to skins to smear them under. So smear them on the flea. Now the flea could probably could be the lintel of the door, but that would presumably require her to take a ladder or something. It it could just mean the threshold, the entrance to his house. Um, so smear them on the uh, the threshold, the doorway. Taino, this is for Ekainu of this man, genitive. Um, Kath Husteron, well, something like um, over. So smear along with the hoop of mass on. So smear them um, under and over the. Um, threshold of this man, so all around. Now, Haas is for Heos. Haas for Heos. While uh, it is still also night. There's a variant reading here for Nun, for Nooks, and that seems to have resulted in this um, extra line, this line being added here. The oldest texts don't have this line. It may have been inserted by this false reading of nook, non for nooks here.
to try and link it on with something. Uh, so while it is still now night, and then in brackets here, I am bound um, in from my heart, I'm tied up from my heart, but he um, li literally makes no uh, thought for me, so he, he doesn't give a damn for me, he makes no word of me. So we leave that line out, and then she's still talking to Thestalus, so Thestalus is to smear these Therona on the Fleer, and say Epitrudzoisa, again participle here, it's whispering or mumbling, um, Tardelphidos ostia maso, I smear the bones of Delphus. Others take maso to mean I need, uh, which is possible here, with the same with this hoop of maso, she's got these flowers and things to rub them in her hands and to knead them perhaps. Um, smear is another possibility. Uh, so to knead or to smear and here I knead or I smear the bones of Delphis. And a final refrain, this is the last refrain um, of this type and it's going to change in the next section. Eong's helka to turn on emon potidorma tonandra. Now at this point, Thestalus has gone off to do as she's been instructed, and Samitha is alone, and we'll take that up in the next recording.